I gotta ask right off the top, I can't believe this is your first film role. Is that true? It is, yeah. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Not just a fantastic movie, but you're working with an incredible director, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. But mm. how did this role find its way to you? Um, it was a pretty classic process, to be honest. Um, I'd been filming, I was just about to start filming a three-part drama in the UK called Him, um, which is how I met my agent, Sophie Holden. Um, and then I was just, she got me the audition for it, and I think he was auditioning a lot of people at the time uh, in London. He was kind of getting as many young guys as he could, but no one really knew anything about it. No one knew the script, no one knew what roles they were going for, how many roles there were, the age of the different people. So you're going in very blind, you know. So I did my first tape. So I did my kind of audition and tape that got sent to Chris. I didn't hear anything for a month and a half. Assumed it was over and got a call back. Went in, met him. I just went from there, really. Did about two or three more auditions. And so yeah. you didn't know what the movie was. You didn't know what the roles were. We knew it was about Dunkirk. That's right. about it. But then you find out that you're working with Christopher Nolan. Tell me about that day. I mean, yeah. When I got the call saying that I had the role, it was, <laughs> it was just unbelievable, really. Um, I got the call. I got the call from my agent, and she asked if I was sitting down, and I said I was now. And then she told me that I, uh, I've been offered a role. I did a lot of shouting, and then she said, "Oh yeah, and it's the lead." And I shouted even louder, really. Yeah. What kind of research did you have to do to get ready for this role? Um, just a lot of it, really. Um, lots of online research. I think that's like the easiest thing to do. And we went to lots of museums. Uh, we read a book called Forgotten Voices of Dunkirk um, by Josh Levine, which was kind of our Bible for the shooting process. And it catalogues the entire period from the invasion right up to, uh, to the end of Operation Dynamo. And it's kind of, the whole book is filled with first-hand accounts. So it's all um, letters and diary entries of soldiers from the time. So that was an amazing thing to do. Um, I think in general, just being in Dunkirk was very educational. Probably an emotional role experience as well. Definitely, yeah. Let's talk about Christopher Nolan as yeah. a director yeah. who is, I mean, he's one of the top selling, people love his movies, including myself, we all do. Yeah. What, what is it like to work with a guy like that? Amazing. Yeah, he's brilliant. But how would you describe his style as a director? Uh, hands on. Very hands on. Very hands on, which is very refreshing. Um, Cause I think you get told a lot of horror stories when you're about to do a big film um, about kind of, you know, directors not being there or shouting something from somewhere or letting you know seventh eighth units come in um, but he's very very present all the time and that really comes across in his films I think because his it is completely his vision um, so he really I mean from the second audition he was there right up through the shoot he was never more than kind of eight feet away from the where we were constantly talking to you um, and I think that's just it just gives it such an intimate feel. Um, and it means that it, it puts you at your ease so much right. quicker, which you'll always do, I think you'll always do better work when you're relaxed. Interesting, all right, the biggest question you're gonna get asked today. Here we go. I'm ready. So, you're a break dancer? No. <laughs> but I read that you were gonna be a break dancer, you wanted no, to- No, I've been asked this before. I did a, a, an interview or two where they asked me what I wanted to be when I was younger. Uh, and from a very young age, I wanted to be an actor, but before that, I had aspirations of being a break dancer but I could never really break dance. I could do a couple of moves. You know, I could do like a couple of locks and stuff, but I couldn't really, you know, I didn't go to hip hop school or anything. <laughs> I just liked the look of it and thought it would be cool. So yeah.